Yeah. Hello, I'm Dr. Broderick Bryant. I'm a family medicine physician here at Eskenazi Health, and that means I take care of both adults and kids, and I've been doing that here at one of our health facilities for the last 20 years. So as I've gotten to spend some time taking care of some of the patients in the community, one um, condition has come up particularly that I think is important to talk about, and that's chronic kidney disease. So why is chronic kidney disease even important at all? Well, right now it affects 37 million um, people. And the big deal about chronic kidney disease is that it might go without even being detected. Most people that have chronic kidney disease don't even know that they have it. Black Americans are affected almost four times as much as white Americans. Although black Americans account for only 13% of the population, um, black Americans account for 35% of individuals that have kidney failure. So your kidney is approximately four to five inches and it functions effectively as the filter and it filters the blood in your body. The other things that your kidney does that are very important for it to do is helps control your blood pressure. It helps make red blood cells. It keeps your bones healthy and it controls something called acid-base chemistry of your, of your body. Now, although you have two kidneys, two kidneys, your body is so smart, your kidneys are so efficient that most people can even live with just one kidney. If your kidneys stop doing these functions, um, toxins can build up in your body. When the filters are gone, toxins can build up. Fluid can build up in your body. And some of these changes you can note in symptoms. You, know, you might have decreased energy, trouble sleeping, memory lapses, or even changes in your sexual function or decreased appetite or change in your appetite. So it's important for us to, um, because of these reasons, be aware of you know, how kidney disease can present. So the good news is, is that you know, kidney disease doesn't often present only in kidney failure. You have time. We have time. We can detect early signs of kidney damage. And there's five stages of chronic kidney disease. The first one to four phases, um, they can be pretty asymptomatic. And it's the last stage that people are really familiar with. And that's when people go on um, dialysis or they need to be able to put on therapies that replace the function of their kidneys. Uh, what we're trying to accomplish is make sure that people never progress to that end stage of uh, kidney disease and that we're doing things actively, proactively uh, to prevent that from occurring. Hypertension or high blood pressure is one of the risk factors for developing kidney disease. Also, diabetes um, plays a role in development of kidney disease as well. So it's very important that you work with your weight, um, proper nutrition, um, and then something as simple as just stopping smoking it can also be a very important tool or a very important way to help prevent the progression of disease. Those are simple things. Well, those are things. I mean, that may say they're simple, but those are certain things and processes that you can embrace that can help um, mitigate or delay the progression of worsening kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease Being a provider for 20 years, I can tell you this. If you come in as a patient or you come in as a person that's interested in being taken care of and you have a particular question or concern, um, providers, my colleagues, they, they really do enjoy, you know, when you come in and you have a focused goal and we're happy to take care of that. Take the Be Real Pledge. B means be aware of the stigma that may exist and avoid the trap. R. Reject the notion that it is better to not know than to know. E. Early detection. Act with a sense of urgency to slow the progression. A. Advocate for yourself and share your insights with loved ones. And L. Line of vision. Work with your healthcare team to take control of health. Be an active player in making treatments. Hopefully this has been helpful. And it's really been my pleasure to sit and get a chance to share some of these you know, it's not even thoughts or ideas, some of these realities about chronic kidney disease. And it's my hope that um, if you stayed long enough, you listened to this to get to this point of 
um, the discussion, that you will take this information, you will put into action, and you will share with loved ones, and that will make some impact, long-term impact, and we won't be seeing anyone um, that could have, uh, that have end-stage renal disease. We much prefer you to be healthy and happy and live the lives with your loved ones that you want to live. So um, have a great day.